Let's view a clip on the BizTech Asian Media Market Watch, a discussion between host Brian Fernandez with guest Tina Tang, market uh, analyst APEC and Canada CMC Market. A conversation on insights on regional market performance and touch on the risks, result, data points for the rest of this week that may move markets. Now that's had an impact on FX markets, isn't it? So the yuan has weakened uh, significantly. Yes, uh, we can see uh, the U.S. dollar actually the dollar index strengthened to a fresh 20-year high, and now uh, the both Japanese yen and the Chinese yuan accelerating devaluation. Uh, now the U.S. dollar, uh, Japanese yuan, the currency peers, I think just a top the 144, which is very strong. It has a new high in uh, should be 24 years since the 1998. And the, the Chinese yuan now is devalued to close to seven, which is a key psychological level. The other impact has also been a spike in bond markets, isn't it? Uh, yes, uh, I think uh, the bond markets uh, now the resumed sell off in the bonds. Uh, and also we can see uh, the equity markets are down. Uh, now commodities price are falling as well. Uh, so three major asset classes are falling down, which uh, I think the market is now pricing a stagflation. Uh, so which means uh, rising inflation, a slowdown in economic growth. Usually, as two economic indicators define the stagflation, but uh, we just haven't seen uh, the weakness in the labor markets just yet. But I think probably it's coming soon because you can see that a lot of companies now the laying off staff, the so slow uh, new highs. I think, um, yeah, the market is now just uh, really negative sentiment risk off. Um, probably we just describe it as a stagflation error, probably just kicks off. Now, but Tina, on the flip side of the commodity space, we've got to zoom in on the EU energy crisis and the price of oil and gas. What's your take on this moving ahead as Russia cuts supplies of gas to the EU? Um, I think this uh, is a no solution so far for the EU countries. As the, the winter comes in uh, and the cut of the major pipeline of the gas supply, which means they uh, they will, will be experiencing a very hard winter time and also the affect the economic activities like uh, uh, lots of manufacturers can't just uh, uh, operate as usual. So there, there will be a downturn in the economic growth as well. Now, on a very different note, Tina, uh, I think many Apple fans are eagerly awaiting the Apple event with the launch of some new products. Tell us a little bit about that and what the impact is going to be moving ahead for the share price of Apple? Uh, well, um, so we mo most of the time people are very excited about the new release of products of Apple. Uh, so this time uh, we just have the expectations for them to uh, launch another uh, new iPhone, which is iPhone 14, uh, with uh, like a bigger screen. Uh, it's a pro version. Uh, however, in history, uh, Apple's share price didn't necessarily go up after the new product release. I think only probably two, three times uh, the price gone up, especially right now the broad sentiment is down. So I'm not too sure if uh, this would lift share price just, just right now. Um, yeah, we, just, we just see that there are still uncertainties 